anamorphic imperfections, and why you should love them. Emotional damage! Wow! What do you know? Well, look at what we have here. Yes, you're right, I'm looking at barrel distortion. You're always hearing about lenses and their imperfections and everything that is wrong with them being criticised. You don't know the power. Some of you lens purists, high priced low character tech sharp pixel peeping, lens breeding types might just have an anxiety attack about what you're seeing. is basically a beautiful cinematic tool. For these movies, they could have had clinical, no character lenses without distortions, but they've chosen it to immerse you into the world. These lenses give character. What am I trying to say? Distortions are good? Yes, actually, that is the point entirely. Especially with an anamorphics, leaning into those characteristics help give you a, a look. From the very first time watching this, I noticed the bowel distortion. It's one of my favorite shots in the film. Whether it be vintage or modern, you can definitely see that there is plenty to be had by leaning and loving into these barrel distortions. This shot clearly immerses you into the world, even though we might see it and think, oh, barrel distortion. All these clinical types are often, you know, trying to get rid of that. Some people do make the choice, even if they're shooting anamorphic, to get rid of barrel distortions. I think it makes it a little bit more boring. I'm not as much a fan of pin distortion as barrel distortion, but as you can see in some of these shots, it can still work to make an interesting image. Even TV is leaning into this particular look. In the TV series Shogun, you can see the exaggerated use of distortion in these wides. Here we can see exaggerated uses because of the lines, but even without the lines in the background or with these bars, it would always be there. It's not that it's only present on these types of shots. Used to these bars, kid. Again, just image after image where we're seeing this. Why do so many people want to get rid of it? If this was a review of a lens, you can bet that they'd be criticizing it. One thing to note, which is important, is you'll notice it much more on wide shots, but when you go into medium or more telephoto shots, you'll find that those characteristics naturally are less, but on the wide shots, I think you can lean into it. Let me know down in the comments what you think, whether you enjoy these types of uh, cinematography tools and let me know what other elements of imperfections that you like in lenses. Maybe you have lenses that aren't cinema grade or potentially have defects uh, according to some, but I think you can use them to tell a story, especially for narrative purposes. Maybe if you think clinical lenses are better, let me know in the comments as to why. So get out there and create with whatever you have to hand. And if there are imperfections, just lean into them. Maybe make it a part of your storytelling. Anyway, that's all for me. See you all on the next one. Bye now. Hello there. Anyone notice the CA on that shot? Ridiculous. How could they make a movie with that lens?